Welcome back, everybody. Today we have another Chat Chooses the Hero Day. Chat chose Tess, a hero that I don't typically play that much because, well, let's say this meta is very fast. We have very, very high roll games, and um, when people are nuking each other from 30 health, a hero power that allows you to buy the stuff that just killed you isn't exactly that great because it doesn't matter if you get that mid-game tempo. If the high roller gets really big, they're going to kill you before you can steal stuff from them. Well, I mean, sometimes you don't really make a game off of stealing with Tess. Sometimes you make use of a couple tools that you steal, and maybe, um, I don't know, maybe a Khadgar transition or two, and you just get tons and tons and tons and tons of triples. A lot of triples this game. This is a fun one. It was a different one. It was interesting. And it came down to a very competitive end game like top four scenario which is really fun it was just a really good game and i figured you know what this will be a fun one to play all right enjoy i think i'm inclined to take it test was so good when quobors first came out yeah absolutely the game was slower though not only that but everybody played the same tribe so yeah <laughs> Yo, 94 myself and Satam. Thank you guys for the follows. Welcome to Bofus Gophers. And that's not a Selemental. Sag. So he's got a Selly. We're not going to buy it. We're just going to level to three on three, most likely. Scammed by the anomaly. I know. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. The Janda stayed on one to get a hold of the token is interesting stayed on one again and took the triple I don't mind the line to be honest Nobody else is chuckling that this guy might have Bran for Tess. You know you wanna, dude. <laughs> you know you do. I think we just go to three on three and take our lumps. Like we don't wanna buy here. You know you want that Bran. On the other hand, he may not commit it to the board. There's a fair likelihood we can take a triple next turn. Tidehunter scalped on his board. I tried going normal curve on Jandis with no token on one, but it felt really bad. You gotta remember that the comparison... I mean, I agree, to start. But you gotta remember the comparison always has to be which is better, no token on the initial rolls Jandis leveling on normal curve versus no token on the initial rolls staying on one and doing like warrior curve or something. Gotta compare apples to apples. Both of them kind of suck. It's just degrees of suckage. Just degrees. No, no brand. <laughs> Too bad. So sad. Too bad. Maybe he doesn't know we're Tess. Yeah, we're actually Demon Hunter. Take the four initially. 
Alternatively, we could just... Uh, no. No, we take the four. We take the four. We need to stabilize this test. Not get too greedy here. Not get ahead of ourselves. Um, Seems like a domo. Domo and a spawn, maybe? Security rover and a spawn? Could be rover and a spawn. I don't mind that. Domo's a little awkward here. And it really is just temporary minions. We want temporary minions while we buy ourselves time to beat the shit out of people with their own tools later. This is in our triple. If I want to buy it for six gold. You could just, you know, not snipe my... My Khagar. That'd be nice. But, you know, whatever. Teach his own. Peepo clap. Did he hold Bran? No, it looked like he only bought four battle cries. He was leveling on normal curve. He was still on two and now he's on three. So he only had four battle cries as of then. Um. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here now. I think we always just look for another token, right? That'll do. That'll do. Well, we can take two five stars next turn. We have both beasts and uh, murlocs in the lobby. We drop four minions. We take two... Drop five minions. We get the gold back. Is it better to drop all five? Because none of them are that strong. You get four tokens off each. Or off, so you basically two more uh, gold. So you can sell this thing back for three gold effectively. That's pretty close. Oh, come on. Only thing on the board you die to? That's what you hit? Sure. Sure, sure, dude. Sure. Sure. Naturally. Mm-hmm. Cool. Lovely. Sure. I definitely want to take 16 here. Maybe sixes? No. Never sixes. He's a Nomi. Never sixes. That's... That's the ring. This is close, whether or not I do this. If we hit a mama bear, it's nuts. <laughs> I mean, I remember the good old days, but it's a lot of, a lot of gold anyway. Mama bear? You're not mama bear. Okay. Why be Mama Bear when you could just not be Mama Bear? What exactly was on his board? I'm not going to freeze for any of it. Why be Mama Bear when you cannot be Mama Bear? Good old days, both of those were double triples. Might have Tidehunter still. We can flush and reset again. This is just tempo for now. They're temporary minions after all. One. And Bran. Interesting. Fifteen to twenty-three damage. 
M likes. She's looking out the window. Uh, yes. Bran? Not Bran. Uh, it's Mama Bear, though. Now, to be fair. One, two, three. Four, five. We can even take the gold. It's going to be better in this situation, right? I should sell that token. I don't know why I, I did that choice. I did that twice. Like an idiot. It's one gold I wasted. Gold brand ink. Why would we want gold brand? We'd already hero powered by the time we saw the faceless on the board. You want to take the triple into the... Take the triple five star into the faceless? Oh, I didn't see we were on five. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah. We'll just try to pivot this way. We can either take Alley Cat and win the game off of it if we see it, or we pivot into Goldrin. Like, we can drop these two and just play one Goldrin, Khadgar, Mama Bear, and make giant Tabby Cats. God forbid we find Golden Mama Bear. Or we could die. Who knows? There aren't a bunch of game-defining six stars in this one. No quill boars, no dragons. His board is next to worthless to us. Not great. Man, I wish I had this. So why don't I just take it? I have the faceless in hand. Alright, you gotta move faster, game. This is so slow. <laughs> Come on, game. You got this. Uh, Hamula Cauldron. Pretty close, right? All right, well, that'll do. This is why you like Mama Bear being in. Mama Bear makes for some interesting transitions. And then we'll die on a 3%er. Watch, here it comes. Here comes the 3%. That wasn't the 3%. That was some advanced Hearthstone. It just reminds me of the good old days, the Khadgar transition days. And the fact that we have to do it now without ever disconnecting or doing like manual disconnects just adds, adds flavor to it, makes it more fun. Casual 10 triple game. 
I realize I have Hamul. And that can give me Macaw. I don't want to level to six. Okay, so I guess we do it now. We have the gold, the cycle. Not what I was trying to hit, but whatever. Still another big minion on the board. Sure. Another my Exna? It's an oddly shaped my Exna, but against elementals, it seems like the thing we keep. <laughs> All right, well, we're just gonna be tempo beast for the rest of the game, probably. How many triples do you have? 10. 11 now. I missed 16 in one turn. That was the challenge, was can you get 16 in one turn? That dude was not expecting to be 97 dog on turn 9. For that board, yeah. 97 percented. We're just tempoing this game out. Like, that's what happens when you get this kind of board, is that people can beat us in the ultra late game, but most of the time we can beat them before we get to that point. We have a hard time of getting into something that's, like, better than this. Got him. You didn't want to fight the Tess? The Tess with the 11 triples? And giant tabby cats that look adorable while they maul you to death? Alright. If we ever find a Baron or a Macaw, we'd be more inclined to, to level at some point, but... Like... Look at this shit. Look at this. Like, what do we do to get stronger from this position? Multiple turn combo to get to Macaw Comp, right? This is just not that necessary. Ghoul could be okay, depending on what these boards look like. Yo, Tess Viking, thank you for the follow, my friend. Welcome to Bofas Gophas. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Four elementals from that point. Three turns ago. I'm not too worried about this guy. We just need to play against this. Oh, there you are. It's a start. That is also a start. Go selfless instead of Macaw for two poisons? True. We could. We could play for uh, Baron and, and Selfless at the end, too. So you basically play with these four minions and then put Divine Shields on them. It's a good line, too. But both of them really rely upon finding a couple specific minions. One of them being Baron. All right, he's going to pivot toward Poison Scam to beat us, and that means we're more likely to play toward that line than play toward the Goldrune line. Damn, he ripped all of our damage off the board. Like, all of it. Fuck you, dude. Like, six damage on a 9 to 18? Gonna buy him a lot of time. One Divine Shield's kind of nice. New Hero Power could be good, too. It's pretty close. Nope. 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 Yep. This is so awkward though. We don't get stronger playing anything to board.
Divine shield for my ex now? Yeah, it was better. <laughs> what am I what am I doing? I forgot we had mechs in or in. For some reason I thought we didn't have mechs. And this is the smaller of the two minions to get picked off. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's just a mistake. Comes with the territory of streaming like eight hours plus a day every day. There are occasional mistakes. I will admit them. That was a mistake. I have to freeze this board. It's so awkward. Alternatively, we could buy a spore and put it on the board, but... Let's say you play Baron with Mac or Goldrin here. It's an extra 30-30. No, it's actually 20-20, because this thing doesn't get buffed on the original. And you lose 10 10, so you net positive 9 stats or 11 stats. 9 stats. It's just not worth it. Positive or 9 stats with a big downside. And no, and not even counting Mama Bear's contribution to Rat Pack potentially. Alright. We get to kill this guy good. And uh, next fight is going to just come down to. Can we find a way to get into Divine Shields? That Macaw is really important for Divine Shields, right? And that's why we freeze, guaranteed. Yo, McGrew. Also, thank you for the follow. Oh, welcome to both as Gophers. I don't care about the the Baron. Yeah, sure. Be nice to have it. But Golden Baron is a long way off when you don't have a single selfless. <sighs> off. <laughs> it's a long way off when you don't have a single selfless. He has one on his board. And I've always known that I could do that. But at the end of the turn, instead of being able to hero power. Now we have this on the board, and we can't do both. <laughs> so we can't take it, which is the sad part. Because <laughs> we're going to play these guys in the selfless hero from his board, which means we sell three, which means we can't even buy it. All right, fun stuff. <laughs> Good shit, good shit. Yeah, barons aren't worth it, unfortunately. I agree. Especially when you don't have a selfless hero on the board. We gotta play for what wins the round. It's not like we can sacrifice a round or anything. Why not play Macaw before sa or selling Mama? Should've. I'm like 65 hours into streaming this week. Mistakes are coming through. There are cracks. Weak. I would have it would have killed the dong. True. It would have made a difference. I mean, it doesn't really matter if it makes a difference or not. It's a mistake. If it's a mistake, it's a mistake. It's an Amalgadon, there's a Primal Fin, there's a Myxna, and none of which are really that useful to us. Argus is okay. With Myxna as well, it's kind of interesting. Get that game on YouTube. It was awesome, man. <laughs> and then highlight the, the mistakes at the end. Regardless, not worried about looking silly, making a mistake. We all make a bunch of mistakes. It's only when you identify them, right? That you fix them. We ignore them. That's a different story. 
looks like this is the play. You could argue that we do this second. You could argue it's this. You could argue you pull these guys to the front so they get hits and then something lives at the end because we aren't on six. If it one tabby lives, then he survives. But I would rather play to win the round than lethal him. Yeah, he just... He got Mega Wind Fury chat. He's better than us. He got the Mega Wind Fury. We saw the triple happen. Too bad. So sad. Guess this game doesn't make YouTube. Yeah, but that was a uh, very hard game for us to ever win. It, from the point where he was at Poison Scam and we were at Big Beasts. Like, you have to pull, or pivot this direction. If only Makah was stronger, we still wouldn't have lethaled him. It wouldn't have made a difference. Let's be real. Doesn't make it any more acceptable to make the mistake. But it didn't have any out or any uh, effect on the outcome.